I still haven't gotten um, I still haven't gotten that intro catchphrase down yet. Yeah. Boom. That's the problem. Yeah, How's that? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Now you got it. <laughs> or uh, I don't know. Heidi Ho. I thought welcome was good. Well, welcome, good. ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you punch your palm, though. So. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. See. To the stream. Okay. Everyone's probably like, "Oh, update the game being played on Twitch." Gosh. <laughs> it's like we're amateurs here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We are playing, uh, what are we playing? Lone Echo. We're playing Lone Echo Good today mm -hmm. um, from our friends at Ready at Dawn. They, uh, we've been, uh, you know, we've known them for a while. We have, yeah. I mean, we've known them, um, you know, going back from our work on PlayStation mm -hmm. for a long time. They've been friends of ours. It's super excited to have them among the Oculus family and... I've played Echo Arena and enjoyed it. I've never gotten to play Lone Echo, well, and I heard it's wonderful, so I'm excited. It is from what we from what we've heard as well, and a lot of us have played it. Uh, it's my not, first time playing either. Well, that's why we got you here. So yeah, that's why you're here. Paul. Let me introduce you to these folks: Sean McCabe, the Chief Technology Officer. You've been around the block a few times. Right? Few, about, yeah, about six or seven. So how many how many games have you made in Insomniac? Like two or three? Two or three? I feel like I've probably I'm just gonna throw out thirteen games. I don't actually know. What was your first game? My first game was Ratchet and Clank uh, Up Your Arsenal. Up your back on the PlayStation Two or Ratchet and Clank Three for those Europe fans. Yeah, that's RC RC Three is what we called it internally. Um, I worked on just about that whole thing. Um, I started around the time that Going Commando was wrapping, but really RC Three was my first Insomniac game. And Paul is lead animator. How does that feel? It's a little fresh. A little fresh? Yeah. I won't say raw because it has like a negative. So you're like a Congra new... You're newly, congratulations, Paul. You're I newly minted. Very, very well earned. Same to you, man. Very well earned. I was going to say, this both guy. of you are kind of newly minted. Yeah. yeah. I'm the only one without a new title. I need to give myself one. Just tack on a word or two to yeah. the end of yours. Hey to everyone here, Zeke. Flipper, thanks for the update about the the uh, updating our game. Should be updated now. PSN Square and Xander Kyle Puckett. All right, so today we're playing Lone Echo. Who wants to play first? Paul Robbins. Sure. Paul is going to go, go first. You can go yeah. now. All right, let's do it. You can go now. <clears throat> oh, my right. lower third's not disappearing. How? Pow. You might have to move over if Thomas wants to sit down, but maybe I'll just oh. have him walk back there behind the, like a multiple times, just keep walking around <laughs> with the I was cables. looking forward to taking the whole chair for myself. No, you can you can sit there. Okay. Thomas will just comment from the peanut gallery. I love this UI. Okay, so we're going to cut to the game because Paul is standing there. Don't do anything yet, just because I want to show you. Okay. Or we want to show the stream. So here we are. We're in the menu. We're going to mute the... Uh, let's turn up the game audio on the TV so we can hear it. Oh, that sounds cool. Can you guys hear the... Let's see. Can you guys hear the TV audio? Did you mute the cam audio, Thomas? No, I'm not seeing cam. it. Cam. Go to cam. No, no. Cam. Elgato. Cam. Elgato cam? Yes. Top. At the top. No, no. Right-click on Elgato. Nice Go up to the top. Oh, I see. Mute that. Boom. Got it. We did it. Okay. Here we go. Ready to go? They always start like this, all of our streams. It's like we've never streamed before every time. <laughs> That's kind of a char uh, some charm in that, right? Yeah. We do it live. Who's seen Black Panther? Have you seen Black Panther? I have not. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. So don't spoil it in the chat, or I will never stream again from this account. I'd come close to convincing my wife to take the kids to see it. And then she read, asked one of her friends. Mm. It was all for naught. It's 63, right? <clears throat> Lone, or it's in Sonic Life 63. Isn't that right? Um, six, yes, I think so. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be Hopefully you guys can still hear the audio. And making my way to my new assignment. I can. Yes. Yeah, that help? It odd, actually, saying it out loud. I love this. I love this design here. But you haven't played this game. Oh, I'm just observing it. Oh. Oh. Well, I love the visual design. I like the UI stuff. 
Oh, Man. zero G. Wow. Anyway, all mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight it's a bit low. Let's turn it up a little bit. A bit lower than I'd like. Oh. It's it's hard because we're trying to hear it, but we're also trying to make them hear it. Oh, this game's gorgeous. As I have heard, it's gorgeous. Well, it is ready at dawn, and they've made some nice they've made some games. gorgeous games. Yeah. Jack, are you with me? Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. Can you go, Jack? I'll see you in a so this is like the training, uh, which in VR that's always interesting to see which, uh, what developers do for training because mm -hmm. every everyone's different. Some people make you put on like a real headset in the game. It's like virtual reality in virtual reality. Some people do these uh, computerized training sequences. Um, well, it's such a new, it's a new thing, training in VR, and I think we're all still trying to find the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think always the best case, whether it's a console game, any kind of game, is the one that you just feel like you're experiencing something. Yeah. Like, we talk about that a lot, that it doesn't feel like training, so we'll see. Yeah, and I, it's a pet peeve of mine, is, is when you're train, you're clearly training, Right. it's like, okay, I get it, but let me learn a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, there's ways to do it well, and I think uh, that was terrible, Paul. <laughs> Paul's actually Paul is a good, Paul is a good athlete, so I think that he'll be good at this. There you go, nice. He did not shy away from contact and flag football. I know that. Yeah, Paul is pretty dirty. That's tr Paul is dirty. Yeah. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, Right, Jink, like up your arsenal to have a training room with new weapons. Did you know that? I'm just joking, because we know you were on up your arsenal. Please pull the handle above you to exit we know. the activation pod. We know you were on up your arsenal. You're an old, you're an OG. I am not the, the not the oldest, oldest, not the oldest of the OGs. Well, I am an OG. Last stream we talked about how we have some really old people here. The three. Of Don't uh, tell people his email. Oh. Please follow the labor unit to can we can we bleep that? We bleep that, right? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, but that's the way you know, and I yeah. do not have that. I'm not going to say what mine is. Yes. That is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you said that. And so the hands are actually fitting around that. That's yeah. amazing. I've read a little bit about it, but it's it's cool to see how they're. Wow. Out. How is Spider Man doing? Spider-Man, he's doing good. Please take your time and follow the Last I heard, he was hanging out in uh, Queens, swinging around and getting mm -hmm. hamburgers or something. Mm -hmm. huh. Carefully climb up the slope to continue. So in this game, locomotion pull looks like it's it's mostly about pulling yourself through the level. Wow, look at that! That's amazing. Which is uh, that is so hard to do. That's cool. Yeah. yeah so like the hands translate and the arms translate based on, because as you can tell with Paul, he's just got a controller that has, um, capacitive touch on it. So you can see the fingers and everything moving and the triggers, but when you're moving it, it has to move the arm because it doesn't know what your arm is because he's not wearing like a haptic suit or anything. How does that feel, Paul? It's really cool. No discomfort. Hey, reset. I'm just impressed. We lost some frame right here. There we go. How the hands are deforming around the. Sorry objects. about that. That's what we get for bringing an animator in. Yeah. Especially be. Paul, who's um, very creative but also very technical. There so I could see him being interested. Very little progress made in the game. Sorry. <laughs> That's good for me because I'm going to play next. Calibration module complete. Good Watch job. Are you learning? Five. Because you're probably Remember not going to go through the tutorial when you play. Well, I played a demo, and I feel like I said I played Echo Arena, mm -hmm. which I'm horrible at, but I played it and enjoyed it. Didn't I play against you, or were we on the same team? I don't remember. Uh, it's Activate left thruster. Activate right thruster. 
See, here's the thing we, we never have learned about with our streams is we, we tend to do the tutorials on stream instead of just doing them before the stream so that we go right into the action. But somebody writing this down. Somebody. Yeah. Like you. One day I will I will have people do the tutorial before they play. <laughs> One day. I think it's sometimes good for people to have context of what they're they're looking at. The tutorial can kind of let them know the mechanics. Please and stuff. press the hollow button mm -hmm. near the door to proceed. So uh, for the chat, if you got questions for Sean or Paul, again Sean is is newly minted chief technology officer. O Ratchet OG slash Insomniac OG. Mostly just O. And and then Paul Robbins is a uh, newly minted lead animator. What was your first game, Paul? It was all for one. All for one. Yeah. And one for all. Call Trans Bay. <laughs> That's a joke so inside that only Paul and I get it. <laughs> we could let a few people in. Uh, Paul, few. one of Paul's earliest pieces of work that I remember was this extremely long, complicated cinematic on All for One mm -hmm. that was called Caltrans, and it was when, um, was it when Mr. Dinkles, I think this is a spoiler, it's when the Mr. game came out, when yeah. Mr. Dinkles turns into the Hell Squid, or the Gribble Knox, yeah, Paul did that, and it was, it was fantastic. The, he actually probably aged him several years right now. It came to be, Short for now. some ridiculously large amount of work to be done. That was woefully under scope, under bid. Mm. <clears throat> Input confirmed. Now hold down the dialogue button and select a reply. That is funny. Now I, I think of Paul as like a a noob, but Paul has been here for eight years. I'd yeah. say. Has it been eight years? So yeah. This will be nine years. What year? Were you, so you were two thousand nine. Uh, yeah. That would be, that would Correct. not, 2009 was in your height? Yeah. Please open the reply menu and hmm. select a response. That's right. Often, you will have a limited time to select a reply. In these cases, A Ratchet & Clank PS2 viable. collection for PS4 understand? would be great. That would be great. That would be really cool. That would be amazing. If only we had a say in that. Acknowledged. I'm ready to proceed. Spoiler Please. alert, we don't. Continuing calibration. That would be Sony. Sony would need to do that. It would be cool to see, but it's come up. The I mean, fact the fact up. that they've already remastered it for PS3 and that right. going PS2 to PS3 is a pain. And then, I don't know, maybe PS2 to PS4 is better, but they've already done it once, so I don't know. I don't know if they would do it again. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, again, that's not us. Getting it to feel like something really new, like the... PS3 HD collection mm -hmm. did, would be a challenge um, artistically. Mm -hmm. You know, for for a lot of the stuff on the on the PlayStation 3 version, we upres textures of the developer, Idle Minds and Tin Giant, upres some of the textures so it would look nice in HD. Um, there isn't a great way to do that, so it would require a little bit more on the art side. Mm -hmm. But I love those games and I love the idea. Yeah. Well, and handoff feels really good. Like, by the way, for those who are just joining us, we're playing Lone Echo. Uh, we are still kind of learning. Paul is learning. And if you, if you hear that noise, that, some, someone's that in flatulence. <laughs> can I say that on the stream? You can say whatever you want. It's not flatulence. It, it's, it's not, it is, it's it not is someone is drilling. It's not a long. Below us. We are, clearly don't have a soundproof studio. Um, or a, can, can you just, you can say we don't have a studio. Yeah, we don't have a studio. We do have it. This is a studio. This is a studio. This is a studio. Is a studio. Is a studio. I'm sorry, buddy. I know you've got a lot of work in this. So anyway, we're playing Lone Echo. Uh, Ready at Dawn made this game, not us, because Insomniac Live, we don't always play our games. We do sometimes. We sometimes play other studios' games. And these are uh, our good friends at Ready at Dawn. Yes. We love these guys. We're going to be, we're gonna be uh, in, well, I'm going to be in Poland soon with a couple of them. Nice. Um, because the Unspoken and Echo Arena are going to I am Katowice. I, I always say that wrong, but Katowice, I think. And, um, you know, we'll be there March, first weekend in March, for the grand finals for both games. It's amazing. Yeah. What are the, pri what are the prizes? Uh, I think Echo Arena, each team gets like 20 grand or something. Nice. So that's like divided by four. 
Unix four, four, five, three. three. I think it's like six thousand over six thousand for for the winner. Six thousand euro slash dollars. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know how the conversion works. Cool. And those will be the unspoken finals. It's the grand finals. That's four from Europe, four from America. And then four from Europe, four from America for Lone Echo. That's exciting. Yeah. Who's going to win? I don't know. Mm, I have my... Sus my um, actually, I don't really know. The favorites would be the two who already won. Data scanner. Um, I would say, hmm. but cool. that doesn't mean they're going to win because a lot, of, a lot can change between now Error. or between the last time we had a tournament Stand and and Poland. Repeat. Right. Let's see here. Uh, uh, more Black Panther questions. Okay. The other. Uh, let's see here. The other PS2 Ratchet and Clank game should be reimagined. Jack, what uh, happened? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, do they? Which need one? To be? Which which one? If you could pick only one, would it be Commando? Would it be Upper Arsenal or Deadlock? What would you want to see remastered? Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed. Before. Do you have an opinion? Do I have an opinion? Yeah. I I'm of the opinion that I like new stuff. I do like new stuff as well, but if you had to pick one, if I had to, like yeah, if I was like you have to pick one, yeah, gun to your head. But for some reason, the question is, would up your what? arsenal include that online? Uh, yeah, yeah, it could probably up your arsenal Listen, then. About my conversation with Command, the online, I loved. We got one for up your arsenal, one for deadlocked, one for each. Yeah, they're both. I mean, they're both fantastic games. No one's going Commando yet. Well. Are you? Okay. Ah. I'm, I'm just gonna put it out. I'm a fan. <laughs> well, I'm a I'm a big fan of going Commander because I didn't work on it. So that was the last Ratchet the game I just got to enjoy as a fan, Jesus except for Quest for Booty. I guess that one as well. It will just be you and the labor units. Quest for Booty is one of my favorites. I've said that it a million times. I've said that a million times. Well, it's one of the yeah. one of the warnings out there to people yeah. out there that want to get into games. If you end up working on games that you really like, you're never going to appreciate them the same way because you play them so much. Yeah, I mean, so I wasn't here for up, uh, Quest for Booty, but uh, it's such a good game. I just love Space Pirates. Those are my favorite characters. You like the movie The Ice Pirates, and I don't know that. Yeah, that Ice Pirates. Robert, Robert Urich who, vehicle. Who in chat has seen Ice Pirates? If you have... I don't even think the people in the chat's kids have seen Ice Pirates. That's how old. But I wasn't like. No it wasn't like something I watched. Well, the situation I didn't watch it till long. I watched it on HBO when it was on. Your fault. Back before we had a remote for our TV. We had we had one of those TVs where you had to push the buttons to yeah. change the channel. Uh, click, yeah. click. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? The and then there the dials. <laughs> it had um. You, you Rob, it started Robert Urick. Yes. Who was I believe a Flo I believe he was a quarterback at Florida State. I did not know that. He was also Spencer for hire. Your swear count Later. Has not increased for He's more of a time minutes. bandit guy. Okay. That's, see, Ice Pirates... It's actually a good... That's a good movie. Time bandit. That's a different... Ice Pirates is... Never mind. Well, Tim... Ice Pirates is... No. Ice Pirates is so bad it's good. It's just the fact that... The fact that... <laughs> the fact that the most precious precious resource in, uh, the, in the space is water. And then they... Near the end of the movies, there's a scene where they like basically just waste water, mm -hmm. and then like for no reason. And then the fight where they go through the black holes and they go back into and they go back in time. Or no, they they go forward. They all get old. They people, start getting older. Yeah, people will run out of a door and they'll have like a yeah. long white beard. Yes, or I think there's a guy who has a big white fro. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's that's it's just classic. And then the, the robot, the, the robot who's supposed to be a robot, but he's just a dude in a suit. Has been <laughs> <last> <laughs> <tenure> <laughs> Isn't C-3PO kind of the same? Yeah, but at least he feels robotic. This guy was just like a guy with boxes taped to him. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, Break it. Can you pick it up? Nope. Physics objects are so fun in VR. I love it's that tactile. I'm not, I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking this, but I love the subtlety of bobblehead. 
Yeah, it's great. Oh, the audio is great. I like, like, uh, like oh. bulldog. Like, come on. Like, I get it. It's a bulldog. It's cool. But it's just, I love that. It's and, and I'm like again, I'm not knocking the fact that they have they have bulldog written over the top of it, but sometimes you have to tell people, I guess, what each thing is. Oh man, I think that those might be peanuts. <laughs> Cro- what does it say on it? Kronos. So they're all they're all a Kronos brand. I think that's the name of the ship. That's yeah. like their generic like Target brand. For yeah, everything. so it's like when you go to a hotel and everything's. Do you think what's on the checklist? What's on the checklist? Do you think that they purchase those in bulk and then relabel them with their Kronos branding, or do you think they actually have a vertical, like they create all their own products? They probably just buy products and rebrand, like hotels, like like like, like Trader Joe's does. Because you kind of have to do that if you have like the Kronos project. You have to have get coffee. Get coffee, Paul. Set fire to mainframe. Get coffee. I love like anything. I mean, this feels really hard sci-fi to me. I love hard sci-fi. Did we ever have a I talk? I love everything about this. Sean would know. Did we ever have a talk by Sony or higher ups, higher up than Sony, uh, <laughs> with those subtitles, especially Plus for Booty? With those subtitles. Basically, had did Sony executives ever come to us and say, "You guys should tone it down on the subtitles"? Oh, on the names? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But they're n- not even Sony executives, I mean. I think that we internally <laughs> tell ourselves to tone it down on the subtitles. Um, I, yeah. It's it's fun. They're really fun to come up with. Um, and we have a lot of them that are... Axed? Well, we have a lot. We have a lot of them that could never go on any game box or product box. But um, I oh. think I think ultimately we want we want a name that kind of like captures the fun of Ratchet, but also isn't going to offend people Paul, that are going to buy it. Paul might have to take a step back. Back. Oh your your, right. your head's getting cropped off a little bit. The one thing that people will know if they play Ratchet there a lot is the alternate titles often show up as trophies in every single game. So if there's a yes. slightly naughty trophy name, that's what it is. I mean, you say they would never see the light of day, but they could if it was like a Leisure Suit Larry game or something. Yeah, they could. You could totally see, um, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> that's where I can't go. There was one time when I was in, I think I was in Target or something like that, and I remember looking at games, and I, there was a woman who was next to me. So it was right after Up Your Arsenal had come out. This um, woman was there with her like little grandson, presumably. And she picked she picked it up and looked at it, and I said, "Oh, you, that one's really good." Mm-hmm. I, you know, my my company made that game, and she like looked at me. I think I had like a mohawk at the time, and she like looked at my mohawk and then looked at me and said, "You shouldn't have called it up your arsenal." But that so one's just like kind of. But all of those of all of the titles, I feel like that one's not as easy to get right away. We do have an especially striking. It doesn't roll off your tongue like some of the it other did, ones. Did she got it and she did not approve. Either that or my do hair. One of those two things she didn't like. Or maybe both. Like going commando is like immediately or quest for booty immediately. Yes. Or a full, full frontal Oops. assault. Yes. You're just humoring me, aren't you? Yes. I know how much you like to answer your own questions. Hey Jack. Thanks, Jack. Hello to everyone who's joined us. Thank you, uh, H D M D and Farasi Asgard for the follow. I believe that's that's everyone who's followed us since we started. Hey, Daddy Insomniac. See, they do know you're old. How? They just called you Daddy Insomniac. Oh man. Um. I was young once. I was young when I started working here. (laughs) For for those just joining us, uh, I'm with Sean McCabe, Chief Technology Officer. He's going to jump in and play soon. And uh, Paul Robbins, lead animator, is currently playing. We're playing Lone Echo by Ready at Dawn. It's an awesome looking game in terms of fidelity. It's a super immersive game, as you can tell from all the little things you can do. It actually won... uh, Best VR game? Is something Thank like that. Jack, it. Quite the ring to and it also got so like super high Metacritic to for a VR title. And if you're just into is that your way of saying you're going space, I mean, I think that this game is like, I can already tell that I love it, even though I haven't played. You asked us about that in I Discord. Uh, Megaton Re- that? Rainfall. Have you heard of that? Megaton Jack, Rainfall. No, I haven't. No, oh. Not many people have. So okay. we haven't checked what it out yet, but we will. Yeah, we promise. It's a great suggestion. We promise. So anyway, you're you're in space. Uh, we haven't really been paying attention to the story. 
Um, can we talk more about the Kronos products, the line of products? I haven't been paying attention to you guys. I've been paying attention to the story. Well, then Paul can recap the story when he sits down on the couch. Um, but let's Paul sounds a lot like Matthew McConaughey's character from Days to Confused. All right, all right, all but right. But what's even better is that Paul's never seen that movie. What? I see it. Any idea I have seen it is all right, all right. I'm afraid not. That's You're almost that's, that's almost as bad as the stream where Lauren said she hadn't seen Tombstone. But then I realized she's younger. Paul Paul has no excuse. What the? Jackie, you all right? I love games that make space dangerous. Mm -hmm. I think that like that was something that came up in Ratchet from time to time as a way. The space the doesn't feel that dangerous, but as we know, like for movies like The Martian or um, what was the one with Sandra Bullock's Gravity, like space or Apollo 13, it's the okay. Apollo 13. Space is insanely dangerous, and I love movies that actually capture that. Yeah, and games, and games like Dead Space. Well, in Dead Space, it wasn't space; it was dangerous. It was like this thing. That was well, there, there, there was some moments. Maybe that was in the second game where you go in and out, inside right. and true. outside, and. Well, just being, I mean, in the vacuum and yeah. things like water are precious in space, which we know from the ice Water bodies. is the most precious resource in space. It's actually, tr it's actually not true. It's matter, most scientists would well, say. But ice pirates is the end the all water be all matter. for space. I heard, <laughs> I heard Star Wars ripped off ice pirates. Well, that would be... <laughs> I think ice But When is ice pirates? 82, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Let's find, let's there are a slew of horrible... Let's, let's ask Google. There, there's a slew of horrible. Um, when was Ice Pirates released? 1984. Oh wow, look at that. So it was actually after Jedi. There was a slew of horrible um, Star Wars clones that came out after, like Battle. Oh, I know. Battle Beyond the Stars. Hey, look, I can play the trailer. For Ice Pirates. Trailers back in the 80s were terrible. Like terrible. You know what's a really bad? You know the movie Death Wish, with yeah. Charles Bronson. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I I have to show you that trailer because if you watch it, just at no point can you not laugh. Cause well, even like the original, it's a funny mustache. It's a funny. Even the original Star Wars trailers, like they they didn't make epic trailers back then. They just right. showed clips from the movie and said, yeah. Co "Coming out this weekend." <laughs> yeah, it was. Space sucks literally. That is yeah, the vac because it's a vacuum. Space sucks, bro. That's a that's like a bumper sticker. <laughs> Space sucks, bro. With like a, the NASA logo on it, <laughs> I can imagine the font, everything. That's good. Space, it's cold, dude. You're a money maker. I know. How? How do you do that? Oh wait, fit. It's pow. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I think I hurt my hand. I hurt both hands doing that. That's how. You know, I read. I, I read. I didn't read somewhere. I think I was watching some video. Uh, some oh science. wow, they really like doubled down on that one. Perhaps it's yeah. not as bad as it looks. That so so does space suck or did pressure different differentials blow? From what I from what I I don't know how true this is because it was a it was a science video I watched on a website. It might have been Nerdist. I don't even remember. Okay. Where they said no one actually suck like you can't act, you don't actually suck. A, like out of a straw. Of it's the difference between the pressure. Oh, well, I think that that's what yeah. that actually pushes it. Wait, we lost the so really, stars. the act of what sucking the doesn't actually exist. Let's just have a look for ourselves. It's always I being pushed. Well, I think yeah. Ah, so I think the are. answer is that space doesn't suck. Space blows. Jack, blows. <laughs> Were you guys setting us up for that punchline? Yes. Oh my yes. gosh. Uh, um, preference Vive or Oculus? Uh, like we said this before when we were asked this question. This is a tough one for me to answer because I actually do prefer Oculus, but then yes, because we said this, we we will sound biased no matter what. Yeah, we say no matter what we do, because we make games for Oculus. Right. Um, but we have said the nothing in my mind, nothing on the market is better than the touch controllers. Yeah, like touch. I mean, touch is fantastic. The headset I like, itself is comfortable. I like the screens. Yeah, I, I would like say the, I would say where I like a Vive da Dash a lot in the Oculus. Just the the home. Yeah, yeah, in home, I, I love it. Especially the new Dash where but you can. You it's can, it's all awesome, and even I mean, we've heard 
even our friends at Oculus me. will say that like what they ultimately want is a lot of VR out there in, in yeah. the world. That's great. Like in P- PSVR no, though, as well as like yeah. I will say this. They all have strengths and weaknesses, but we're really lucky to be working on the platform that we think is is the best right now. Mm. I would just say the only thing. Not the only Good. thing. Well, one of the now things Vive potentially has going for it versus Oculus is the 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 room scale tracking is is, cool. is more plug and play. Right. Um, easier, yeah, the lighthouses are. Yeah, that's that's a that's a great um, point. Um, great. But they're both After great. So if you have either, great. But I'm just saying the touch controllers themselves, I like them better than any other controller on the market. Um, yeah, just presence-wise, there's something about just like hand presence, which and I they think feel just solid. Nailed, they feel solid. Which this game lo- with Lone Echo, like I mean, Lone Echo shows that's almost gaudy the way the hands are holding that thing. Show them. They're, show sh- they're showing off. Like this is Ready at Dawn showing off. Yeah, I could even guess who at Ready at Dawn is showing off by doing that. I think it's really cool that they please deactivate your scanner to proceed. Do this little tutorial when you need it after you've done some gameplay. It's not like cramming everything at the mm. intro. Oh, yeah, it's tutorial, awesome. But they let you play for a while, and then whenever you need to learn something, that you go back to another tutorial. That is cool. That is good. Um, nice throw. Be- <laughs> nice throw, Paul <laughs> Robbins. <laughs> oh, man. Not not going to be on my loan. Are you going to do Are you doing a loan Echo, Echo match Arena. right now? Or Echo Arena match? Or are you just continuing the game? I'm just continuing the game. Okay. That's really cool. I need to pull that out. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. I will say we the games we've played recently on stream, all Please of them have. They're all different UIs, but they're all really cool UIs. And VR yeah. UIs, it is. Or just thing. Yeah. Gather scan data and five other materials. Or and as um, as AR, augmented reality or mixed reality becomes more pervasive, these UIs that right now you're seeing in VR are actually going to be in our lives more everywhere. Yeah. Remain. The um so 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 cool. The controller seems so different. Are you talking about the Vive and touch controllers, or the fact that the touch controllers seem different? Either way, they are very different. Yeah, they are. They're solving kind of a different problem, as I understand. Yeah. Well, Vive is more like um closer to the wands that PSVR has. Right. Whereas, well, they facilitate a certain kind of interaction really well. I think that the thing again that I dig about touches the hand presence when I see my hands yeah when you can move your just, fingers yeah you it makes this like it makes this 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 connection in your mind that and then when you um, when you're playing a game for long enough with touch controllers you almost feel like they're not even in your hands yeah. anymore like with unspoken right that you don't and that's one of the things early on when we were designing uh, the unspoken is that we didn't want if you were tra- teaching someone about how to play Unspoken, you never said to them, okay, press this button, press this button. What you said is, okay, make a fireball. Yeah. Okay, now throw that fireball. Mm-hmm. And somehow people would just understand how to do that. It was, the, it was the craziest thing because that's not... Throwing people understand. Stand Making a fireball, they don't, but people right. could kind of intuit oh, the right the thing to do, to which just videos, shows like why the touch controllers are so groundbreaking. This is such a difference maker. Whoa. Space station should My invest in artificial gravity. I would say that would ruin the whole oh, locomotion well, through the game. <laughs> if you were walking around the space station, the, I think... The fact that they kept zero G and added that type of movement makes sense, and because the movement scheme they came up with makes sense within the game. Like for the unspoken, our teleportation makes sense because you are a archmage. You would be expected to know how to teleport. Right. Um, if we just did it in a game where you're, are you going to keep playing or are you done? I'll see if Sean wants to play. Do you want to play, no, Sean? You, uh, yeah, well, Sean would love to play. Like All right, yeah. let's cut back to the couch for a second. Okay. Here we so, are. So you can watch a dramatic exit. Yes. Everyone, watch Sean get up. Okay. Sean has an injured foot. I do. I have a. Uh, I have a. That's a boot on. I don't have like a gigantic left foot. That's a boot because I have a broken foot. Did you? If you lose your boot around your house, do you go on a quest for that boot? I do. You know what? You might even say I go on a quest for booty. Huh? Is uh, that what you wanted? Not what you're looking for? No, I, was, oh. I, I was sticking with the boot, but oh. that's okay. Yeah. That's all right. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. We have a uh, let's see. I mean, just tried VR for the first time the other day and tried the Vive. I had someone tell me several times how to use the wands. Yeah, I mean, again... If you try VR, anything, Vive, PSVR, whatever, Oculus, 
I don't care how you try VR, just try it. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I guess I take that back. I, I'm not taking away from mobile VR, but PC or PS VR would probably be the best place to start. All right. Um, just to see the promise of the higher end mm -hmm. fidelity. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm not taking away from mobile VR because eventually the mobile processors will be on par on par with everything. Mm -hmm. So. Um, if the, if all you can do is try, you know, and I will say Gear VR and those things are great for traveling, and like, um, you know, when you're sitting on a plane, you can just put it on and watch a movie or play a little game or whatever, and you like you immerse yourself in that world. But try a Rift, try a Vive, try a PSVR. If you do have a Rift, try our games or this game, Lone Echo. Oh, we're back in the game. We're going back. Here we go. Or did you already change it? I did not. Hmm. So now Sean is playing. I might come in. For those joining us, uh, we're playing Lone Echo. This is Paul Robbins, lead animator. How's it going? Uh, and that's Thomas. Hello. Just oh, Tom. Just Thomas. Uh, push the button on your right wrist, like with your left arm. Use use your left hand to touch the button on your right wrist. Oh, I think you already have it out. And then you hold the the uh, is it the Y button? Or Y that would be on the, top. The upper one. Yeah. yeah. Right How's it going, Ratchet Extreme? On the right controller? Yeah, on the right controller. The, the top face button on the right controller. I think that's the one. That's B, that's my thruster. Okay, try the other one. The other face button. Try the tr grip trigger. Try the front trigger. <laughs> oh, that looks oh, like yeah, it. Oh, there you're, it is, right there. Scanning. Hey, Jay Shui, thanks for the follow. Okay, so where do I need to, can somebody like, uh, tell me where I need to go? How does a VR Ratchet & Clank sound? I don't know if that sounds good at all, honestly. Um, Maybe it would be cool, I don't know. It, It's a lot, so a lot of action going on in Ratchet, and... It, Sean, it looks you, like you have a waypoint. You'd have to make it like third person, which we've done. To do what? A, yeah, a VR right. Ratchet and Clank. Oh, man. I think it could be possible. There's just a lot going on in Ratchet, like explosions and weapons. Oh, this is so cool. We would have to oh. uh, be very cautious of a lot oh, of things yeah. with VR. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not like dismissing it. I just motion sickness wise. When I think VR, I don't necessarily go straight to Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. I guess is what I'm trying to say. She was talking about you going. To check out all those satellites, optionally. How do I let her know? There you go, right there, ready to go. You, tap it. You tap on that. Oh, I lost. Track. You need to recenter yourself. You, I think. Use your uh, so right. So turn around and then right, use the your stick. right thumbstick will rotate you. This. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. Using the. See again. This snap is what. This is what. <laughs> this is what happens when. The players don't do the tutorial first. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to scan you. Okay. Does anyone have any questions for Sean or Paul Ready or us? Come on, then. Questions that don't involve Spider-Man or way secrets to or secrets. Don't believe we've ever seen this many so how was the, the locomotion? The was that pretty? Yeah, I. It took me a while to start using the right stick to turn, and I was kind of getting turned around, and I kept using our unspoken convention of pushing both sticks down to try to reorient me. Right. That is not how they set it up in this game. Does it feel weightless? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think a lot of what contributes to that is the inertia being maintained. Yeah. You're used to doing something in a game to give you some momentum, but then it's slowing down if you don't keep pressing whatever you did to execute it, so the, uh, pushing off feels really good. Oh, those hands are so I dreamt of an Avengers-related VR game. There is a Marvel VR game coming. It's uh, Heroes United? Marvel United? Heroes United. Something like that. Marvel Heroes United? Something. Uh, the Senzaru is making it. Oh. And uh, I played it at uh, OC4 last year. And you can be Hulk and Thor and Rocket and... Deadpool, I believe, and there's a couple other characters. I don't think they've revealed all their characters yet. Um, 
Does Jet Set is Jet Set a Sunset Overdrive inspiration? I mean, a little bit, but not. It was more of a. Um, man, there's so many inspirations for Sunset Overdrive. It was like more of a musical punk. Yeah. Um, punk music type. It started with that, and then it evolved. Um, so I believe Jet Set had a little bit of inspiration there, um, but it was not the main inspiration, that's for sure. The word set was taken wholesale from Jet Set, but <laughs> yes. other than that. But there were playlists of music sent around at the, in the early days of Sunset. So, so hold on, there's a comment about his reaction makes him look like he's feeling the weightlessness, and that's, again, he is. That's what... Oh, that's that's so what's cool. great about VR and these touch controllers and all that is, is you if done right, like Ready at Dawn did, the weightlessness, you feel like you're almost weightless. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to be like floating in the air, but you're going to feel that sensation yeah. um, of, of the inertia oh, yeah. and, and slowing and speeding up and floating. And, and There's such a strong contrast from when you're floating to when you're anchored by grabbing onto something that mm -hmm. you feel like in control and stabilized when you've got something you're locked onto and you can move yeah. the world around. Yeah. And then when you push off, you have no... Well, you don't have no control. You can use your thrusters. <laughs> but. They, we pick, they picked a bad day to drill into the wall next to us. You guys hear that drill? Oh, that, or Sean, as, hear as Sean puts it, that flatulence? Sean McCabe. What am I supposed to be doing, Olivia? I can't talk to you. Oh. Pull, pull, uh, pull on your scan. Like, oh, you can't. You can talk to her like that. Grab those yellow. Is your objective things. right there? Go, go back and look. You said your objective right there. Oh, watch it! You're getting a little close. Wait until you coordinate with Liv to start this task. So, so you gotta talk like, to her. Look at her and hit the the button on your. I think it's your left. Which one is it? I think it's the talk button, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. you got you gotta tell her where you want to go. And then, you, oh, frame rate. Let's get the cargo bay squared away. All right. If anyone out there streams and has any idea why we lose frame rate after streaming for about 20 minutes, I'd love to know how we can fix this. Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it. Elgato capture card. Just don't pull any good fuses or we'll have loads more clean up to do. Can you pick up enemies as the hole can throw them? I don't... Uh, I don't remember. I think so. I played as when I played I was Thor. So I don't I didn't play as Hulk. I played as Thor. But you can throw the hammer and grab it and sh Is it like an isometric? No, game? it's first person. First person. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and you can see your arms like oh, I had big biceps and the hammer. I was like, yeah. I think I've located the and Thor. You can the fly. For some reason I was thinking like Carol Wrights. No, no, no. Go look it up. Sinzaro is making it. it. I don't know when it comes out, but uh we're definitely going to play it on stream when it comes out. Sounds fun. Yeah. So is the turn, is it a snap turn? Cool. Yeah, it looks like it's, it? I don't know, 15 to 30 degrees. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Kind of in the optimal range of what's comfortable. Not too disoriented, but comfortable. Uh, I haven't changed the encoding. It looks awesome. That's something we should try, though, next, is changing the encoding. It's weird because it's fine. You play it, yeah. Everything's fine except for the really game nice. capture, and it only starts doing it after 20 minutes or so. Yep. And then we refresh the game capture and it fixes it. So maybe it is our encoding. Maybe we need to check our encoding. That sounds like a good thing. Oh dear. To look at where um. Are Paul's uh, legs, oh, pants sweet. getting keyed out? No. Uh, no. No. It looks close though. Are there mute? Oh. Yeah, you can throw us hammer. I thought I said that. Maybe I didn't. Let's talk about Lone Echo though a little more. I think this um, this fuse looks fine. Jack, that's not. Oh. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Jack, come that's on. A good fuse, Jack. Put it back. <laughs> it Man, that's like your mother telling you, put fuse, it back. The fuse put it. did nothing wrong. How many times have you had to tell your kid to put that back? Don't touch that. I mean. Yeah. Would you rather fight Mike Tyson in twelve rounds or? talk like him for 12 years. I think I'd rather talk like him. I, I didn't want to get hit by Mike Tyson, especially in his prime. 
He like broke people. If you get hit by Mike Tyson, you might talk so worse than him. Yeah. Him. He couldn't. I remember there was a documentary about him. I mean, I, I was kind of growing up when he was popular, but like, he was like people couldn't. He didn't have people to spar with. Because he was like was too good. he was like 16 years old and just knocking out every adult that went in front of him, and he was not just he was just knocking them out. I mean his punches were ridiculous. Uh, so yes, I'd rather talk like him in a heartbeat than and nothing wrong with the way he talks. He's just no, it's just personality is all it is. Don't look with your hands. I don't know what that means. I see have like little thrusters. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. So you can boost, or you can pull yourself, or if you jump off of into zero G, you can kind of thrust around. Mm -hmm. I thought it was all like just pushing. Uh -oh. but you can kind of fly no, no. a little bit. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. same with Echo Ryan. There's those bo boosts. It's kind of limited. Like, there's a cooldown time. I think I've gotten all of these fuses. Was well, he the Brock Lesnar of his time? I, I mean, oh gosh, he was a boxer, so it's hard to Sorry. compare him. But he just never lost. He did lose in the game of life when he was arrested for bad things. He eventually lost. He got a little bit older. And well, yeah, because he went to jail. But in his prime, no one could beat Mike Tyson. Yeah, it's crazy to go back and watch some of those matches. It's just brutal. Yeah, why, there's documentaries about it. It's insane. Did you watch the Spielberg documentary on HBO? Mm, I don't I get it. About Spielberg? Yeah. I did not. It's no. really good. Speaking of Spielberg, I, uh, I'm i a little concerned. About, like, I'm a little concerned about Ready Player, Ready One. Player One. I saw you tweeting about that. I'm just concerned that the... I, the only thing I notice is that the thing that was so good about the book was the real life was terrible. And you went to the Oasis to escape. And in the trailer, it looks like they're jumping back and forth constantly, and real life looks like normal. Okay. It doesn't look as bleak as they made it out to be in the book. I don't care that they changed a lot of the other stuff, because clearly they did if you look at the trailer. I don't care about that. It's just I want I you want that feeling of why are they even going to the Oasis to escape. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Plus they did away with a lot of the 80s stuff. It's got a lot more modern stuff, yeah. which I get because they're trying to hit newer, younger kids. Um, but the book was all 100% 80s, yeah. 70s, 80s. Like it wasn't, I it wasn't, to... uh, it wasn't Overwatch and Halo and oh. Iron Giant, Iron I, Giant, and all that stuff. I just think it's really interesting that Spielberg is directing a movie about a book that was pretty much an homage to Spielberg. Yeah. <laughs> well, and and Ernest Klein, I heard, helped write. Part of the, her helped um, with the screenplay a little bit right. too. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's going to be a really good movie. I just I'm concerned that the same feeling you get from reading the book, and some people don't like the book. I love the book. The same feeling you get from reading the oh, book, you're going to lose in the movie. Gosh, but we'll find out. We'll I'm see. I'm excited for it just because it looks cool. But I, I didn't read the book. You should read the book or buy the book on tape. I or not the tape. But yeah, no says about on tape, tape anymore. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> buy it on cassette tape. There uh, a lot of different uh, opinions on the book. Yeah, well, I, just, I, I just mean it's not like it. it's not like the best literary piece I've ever read, but it's fun. It it what what it did is is all the people that have a lot of esoteric knowledge about just nerd trivia, it yeah. found a way to make that yeah be you're like you're really cool and you can succeed in life if you know a bunch of that stuff yeah, which I can I can relate to yeah a lot of us can relate to the the the, the, the nerdiness of it. Um, but it's the, it's it is a good story about the underdog and fighting the the corporation, you know. Um, the uh, I like how the stakes are high. It becomes a, a global. Billy doesn't like the book apparently, but whatever. I like the book. I'm not a huge fan either. I've heard a lot of people. Not that anybody's asking me, but I'm not. I I, I read a or I, I watched work a lot though. I watched the YouTube that was kind of comparing the <clears throat> the literary style of. Uh, of Ready Player One with Twilight, as far as the pros go, uh, just the writing quality. Uh, I mean, I, maybe I don't know. I didn't read Twilight, so I didn't read that either. <laughs> it's not like a very deep book, you know. It's it's definitely an easy read, if that's what they're saying. Um, but it's fun. It, in my opinion, it's fun. 
Sean, you're doing a really good job of putting those boxes in the box shapes holes. Wow. I think there's only a few left. I have some gifts. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Uh oh, what'd you do? Paused it. Nothing. <laughs> Resume story. I'm trying. We got about nine minutes left of Sean trying to put boxes in holes. This looks like a task. This yeah. Looks yeah. Like some work. Um, any other questions from the chat? Should we try to get them answered before we go. This week, uh, we haven't posted the schedule yet. Um, I believe. Wednesday and Friday, they're going to do a Smash Brothers tournament, and uh, I believe Thursday we are, what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to do Robo Recall, mm -hmm. and and Brian is going to attempt to get the Martial Artist, I think it's called, trophy, where you basically have to not use any of the guns. Oh, wow. He's going to beat the game? I don't know if you have to be, I don't know what the actual achievement the entails. I got you. Maybe you have to only beat a certain score, I don't know. We'll find out. Are there more crates to stow? What? Do you know which Smash Brothers is Looks playing? like you've stowed. I do not. Corey and, and Justin will be doing that stream. Wow. As James will be in dice. At dice. Not in dice. There you go. Uh, Let's lock the system down. All you had to do is push them in. I'll throw the lockdown lever. Oh, I saw that somewhere. Have you heard of... Gorn. Doesn't it feel good? Have you heard of Gorn? Just grab things and move them. Gorn, is that the um, that's I'm, the melee game where you move like I'm looking right now by doing this? It's a VR, like, ludicrously violent VR gladiator simulator. Yeah, the, I saw that at a, a PAX I went to. It looked really fun. They had this huge arena, like octagon. It's the most brutal VR game ever. It says. Let's fix the power failure in the oxygen garden. But yeah, you walk forward by doing this. Uh, we'll have to check it out. I don't know if we want to... G I mean, we'll have to see how violent and how, um, it's comically, funny. comically it's, violent. It's definitely stylized. Yeah. But we'll see. Not that I have anything against, uh, different types of games. I just want to make sure we're not, you know, playing a game just because it's violent. You know, we'll check it out, though. Thanks for the suggestion. You can pull limbs off enemies. You can pull limbs off enemies in, in Robo Recall too, and beat them with them. They're robots though, so it's a little less brutal. But you rip the arms off, and you can smack the robot in the face with them. My reactive cutter first. Right. Considering the power. The art style of Gorn kind of reminds me of Clash kind of Royale. I don't mm -hmm. know if you know that. Yeah, I do. Game. I know Clash Royale. I know. I know. Calibration. I, I've played some mobile games in my life. I got addicted to that for a little bit. Reactive cutter. About a month. Then I got over it. <laughs> That's my problem with a lot of mobile games, is I get addicted to a lot of them, and then put tons of time into them, and then like a month or two later, I'm like, yeah. move on to the next one. Yeah. And it's like, oh man, all that stuff I unlocked. But then again, I guess it's the same with real games too. Real games. I hate using that term, I apologize. Because mobile games are real games. Traditional console slash PC games. I feel the same way. Like I'll play a lot of them and move on to the next one. Oh, I love the way that looks. So Sean is cutting open the hatch. There you go. Um, any other questions? We have five, six minutes left. Any other questions for Sean or Paul or me or Thomas or anything before we sign off? Tomorrow, like I said, we'll be doing. Um, I believe they're doing Smash Brothers. I don't know which one. And um, Thursday we'll be doing Robo Recall just to see Brian try to get that <laughs> martial artist trophy. Maybe he'll... We may have to get a towel for him because he's probably going to sweat a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Friday I believe they're going to finish the tournament. Future Fight. I've played Future Fight a lot. Future Fight... Uh, I played for a long time and then got um, then stopped playing because Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes came out and I started playing that and then I put a lot of time into that and then I just basically stopped playing that. But I got tons of characters in both those games. Um, I could always, I could go back, but look up. Oh, yeah. Press the button on the left side of your helmet to open your visor. You were wrong, Paul. Guess not. Now please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. We should play Battle Royale. PlayStation All-Stars. That's a... I'd have to find a PS3 around. 
I know we have, or I used to have a copy of it. I don't know if I still do. How's it going, Bushin? The guys who made the greatest game of all time, Resistance. Well, thank you. That is nice of you to say. I saw someone in the which, office which wearing resistance? a Resistance, I think, one shirt. Paul, man. Yeah. There's a couple people. Oh, geez. He was wearing one last year. Sean worked on Resistance, Fall of Man. He'd love to tell you about it. Uh, thanks for the follow, Assassin. Excellent. Please press the button. <laughs> right you pull my heart out. For, you don't have to pull your heart out. First of all, I will say uh, the Resistance collection on PS4 would have to come from Sony. So Sony owns the IP. Sony would do the collection just like they did the collection for Ratchet and Clank. That would not be us. It would be cool to see, but that would not be us. I really like the way that flame looks. I have to tell Yancey so we can steal it. Shh, you didn't hear that from me. It's called inspiration. Oh boy. <laughs> it's called inspiration. Let's get started. Whoa. Careful. Ready Player One and Benadum. That's so cool. Yeah. Inspiration. I heard it, Ready Player One ins inspired Star Wars too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ice Pirates and Ready Player One. Yeah. Those are the greatest of our you use your to help 50 you years. Grid Affirmative. Uh-oh. <laughs> Duct tape. Oh, well, this is cool. It's gotten more yeah. serious and dark. We got uh, about three minutes, Sean. You think you can get through this next section? No. Did you use the disc to fight anything? No. I just kind of you it, and then I used it to throw it awkwardly in the direction I wasn't trying to throw it. Well, all right then. <laughs> it didn't. It looked like it was um, an encouragement to play. I see. Yeah, they probably. They probably. Uh, yeah, I probably threw it in there so you learn a little more about it to jump into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering if it actually is incorporated into the, the storyline at all. Mm -hmm. Well, if anyone in chat has finished the game, you could answer that question for us. I need to finish the game. I have not finished the game yet. I haven't finished a lot of games, unfortunately. I tend to start a lot of games. Oh, sorry. I'm pointing that somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Uh, Jack, the headlamp. That's, that's pretty good. Turn your headlamp on, Jack. Turn it back on. And, <laughs> ah, right in her face. <laughs> He's like, she's like, turn it off. You know, and then on. turn it on. That's a, a conscious decision yeah. the developers made to add that little bit of flavor. Yeah. Which is cool. Well, because they wanted to immerse you into yeah. the game more. I respect that. Yeah. Their human models look so good. I bet I finished Spider-Man. <laughs> have I? I don't know. I have played Spider-Man though. Have you? Yeah. I don't know how much we can talk about that? Can't we? Can't. None. No more. You said all you can say. All right. I answered in the affirmative. That's it. Can you go? Can you go back and in tell fact, her should, that you? We should just it? do this from now on. Just go Spider-Man, and then you go Spider yes. No, no, no. You just had to respond with. Spider-Man. Okay, there you go. That's all we're gonna say. That's all I have to say about that. Can you pull have up? Sight, Jack. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't help it. I don't know how to stop. Uh, use your thrusters to back to like back up. Oh, you can't. No, try I, it? I'm flummoxed. You're you're what? I'm flummoxed. Flummoxed? I don't know what to do. Is that like flabbergasted? No. It's like... Uh, well... Now, this is a perfect time to stop because Sean is lost at what he needs to do. So, we're going to cut to the couch and... Well, he just got it. Oh! Well... We're going we're gonna to cut to the couch anyway because it's 3 o'clock. Thank you to those who joined us. Uh, we <laughs> We need one of these days. We're gonna we're gonna prep by playing the tutorial. We're gonna do the tutorial. We're gonna make sure we don't have the technical issues. We're gonna make sure people aren't banging pipes because right now they're banging pipes and drilling. Um, 
but anyway, thanks for joining us. Yes. We hope you uh, enjoyed hanging out with us today. We'll be back tomorrow at uh, 2 p.m. Pacific and then 11 again on Thursday, Thursday. and then 2 p.m. again on Friday. Again, Burbank's going to be doing some Smash Brothers stuff this week, and we are going to be back with Robo Recall. Sean's going to keep tripping over there. At least he didn't yell and fall down the stairs or something. Um, anyway, thank you for joining us. Sean already left, but Sean was here. Tom, is Tom is. I can really, I can really slowly come back. Oh, you you just say goodbye, not hi. He's right here. Oh my God, he's coming. That's how long it took me to come over here. All right, there we you, go. You don't get too comfortable because we're gonna be, we're signing okay, off. Okay, bye. You're welcome, Jack Knighton. <laughs> do more, please. We will do a lot more. Invite more staff. We trust me. We've invited a lot of our staff. What? Uh, and we will do our best no. to get all of them on here. I well, I don't know why I'm still leaning. Sean's gone now. Maybe I just like the smell of Paul. It's that musk. <laughs> yes. Yep. All right. Thank you, guys, and we will see you. Bye. Bur see we'll see you Thursday. Burbank will see you tomorrow.